So in order to create the database, uh, like similar to RDBMS, we don't have any command like create database database name. So whatever the database that what we want to create, so it can be created automatically by using a command called as use. Use, for example, if I want to create a database named sample. So I have created the database. So if I, if, if, this, if there is a database which is already existing with the name of sample, okay, it can be started using uh, directly. If there is no database with, with the name sample, it will be created and then we can start using it. So both these tasks can be performed with a single command named as use space the database name that what you want to create. Okay. So once I have created this database, <clears throat> if you want to view the whatever what are the database that is currently available, you can use a command called as db. So it will show you the database that what currently we are using it. Right. So when I say db and then it, it has displayed me that the database that what we are currently using is sample. And if you want to display like what are the other databases that is currently available in MongoDB, so you can also do that. So by, by using uh, a command called as show databases. But here you can get a doubt like where is my sample database? Why it is not being listed in this, uh, displayed in this list? So it's, it's the reason because the show databases will display the list of databases currently available in your MongoDB provided there should be at least one recorded inserted into the one record inserted into the database. So as of now, we have just created a sample database, but we have not inserted any sample data into that. So let's create a sample data into this database. The way that how we insert the data into any database in MongoDB uh, is by using collections. So to create a collections, actually, so we have it's a, a syntax uh, where like each and every this database uh, can be represented by an object called as a DB. And we have a method, predefined method called as create collection. Let's see, let's discuss something in detail about collections. So uh, collections like, so this is the way that how we will store the information into uh, the Mongo database. And we already know that and we have a predefined, like this Mongo database, we will be identifying this object of MongoDB using uh, a, a, a database object called as db and we have a predefined method called as create collection. So this is how actually we will store the information. And we have certain options actually we uh, two arguments mainly we have to pass as an argument to this method. One is the name of the collection uh, and the other one is certain arguments that what we have which, we, which can be uh, termed as uh, options. So these options generally we have like okay it, it may be a capped it may be an auto index field or size or max. So what exactly capped is like, okay, as we have a capped actually, it's a, it's a collection. So which has that a fixed amount of size uh, for every collection. If, if our, the document or the data that what we are going to insert into that capped collection, if it exceeds beyond the uh, predefined limit or predefined size, then the old entries will be replaced by the new entries. So, so this is what exactly the capped is. So if you if you specify the capped value as true uh, when you are creating a collection, then obviously you have to specify the total number of documents that the capped collection should allow using uh, the max uh, attribute or the total, uh, what is the maximum size of a capped collection that using the size attribute. So auto index ID is yet another option that what we are going to use when creating a collection. So, so which assigns an underscore ID value to every collection. This underscore ID value will be act as an, as an index uh, in order to trace the documents in, a, uh, in, the, in the database. Okay. So we will see the sample like, okay, let, let's see like how can we create a sample uh, uh, collection into in, in the Mongo terminal. And also we will we'll look into that how we, can, how we can drop the collection once it has been created. Okay. So let's get into Mongo terminal. Let's create a sample uh, collection here. So using a DB object. So I want to create a new collection. So there is a predefined method called as create a collection. And the collection name I want to give it as, uh, for example, I want to give the collection name as uh, sample. Okay. So the collection has been created. The main, the beauty about MongoDB is the, even the acknowledgement from Mongo uh, is in terms of you know, JSON documents. If you just see here, yes, the, it, it, it acknowledges as Yes, the database, the collection got created 
and you know by by which is in the format of a json document and an attribute called as okay and the value is 1 so it like it's, this is very you know good to see actually so everything is in terms of json language so we uh, json format okay so we have created a collection called as sample and then let's insert some sample data into this collection so uh, database the, the basic syntax to insert the data into collection is the database object dot what is the collection name here we have created is sample okay samp dot and what do so to insert the data into a collection we have a method called as insert so i'll open this method and since every document that what so we store the information into a collection in terms of json document right so we have already seen what exactly a json document in our previous session so a json documents is nothing but it's, it's starting with a flower base and ends with a flower base and which has some set of attributes and values let's take a some sample attribute okay i'll take an attribute called as a and uh, let it be the value as 1 and i'll take another attribute called as name so let the be let let the value be as uh, shrikant okay yes right so the, we have inserted certain some some data into this uh, collection named sample okay so if you want to view this information whether it got inserted properly or not so you can also view the data like we have select command in uh, rdbms databases similarly we have a find command here okay to view the information in a collection so you can view the data as follows so database object dot what is the collection name sam dot if you just say find yes it displays the results it, it display the total number of documents that what the collection is having but if you want to display the same data in a uh, in a beautiful manner or like in an understandable manner we use another method called as pretty so database name dot collection name dot find which will result the total number of documents in the collection dot pretty in a meaningful manner or in a uh, understandable way in a well organized way okay yes you can see it here here if you observe it very clearly so there is an attribute called as underscore id so from where and uh, which is of type object id so how how what exactly uh, this underscore id means and how it got created so this underscore id is an automatic index value that is being generated by mongodb for every collection that you insert every document that you insert into the collection so if you insert 10 documents for every document there will be a unique underscore id value which will be created by mongodb this underscore id value of object identifier helps us to trace the documents uh, in a in a mongodb collection so because of which actually you can identify any document that what you whenever you want to trace your value whenever you want to trace your documents or if you want to perform some querying on the mongodb it is very easy for indexing because of this underscore value okay so this uh, this is how actually this underscore id will be created which is automatically generated if you want to override this underscore id value yes you can do that as follows so let, let me try that so i want to insert one more document into this database if I, for example if i want to uh, create a, an id or an attribute called as id yes i can do that so if i want to give it as name this time i want to give it as ragu there is no problem with that so though we have a predefined attribute called as underscore id it, it doesn't mean that we cannot create any other attribute with the name as id so id is different from underscore id here so we can create an attribute as id okay so that's one thing and second point is so you can also create uh, you can also override the default object id value which is being generated by mongodb for the uh, underscore id attribute so if, if, let's see that how it can be done so database name dot collection name dot i want to insert some document okay and uh, it's i want to give it as underscore id i just want to override it as 001 so just give some value okay a name i'll i'll give it as uh, raja and uh, <coughs> right i will give ct as so we no need to have every time we no need to have only two values because as we already have discussed okay uh, we have a dynamic schema uh, creation so the first two documents has only two attributes now in the third document it we no need to have there is no con you know, fixed rules or constraints as we have in rdbms to have a, a fixed schema we can create our dynamic schema as per our requirement for example if i want to add 
a new attribute named as uh, a city yes i can do that i want to give it as chennai yeah, perfectly so it got inserted right so now if you want to view this information uh, list out all the details in this collection yes let's do this sample dot find ready good see we got uh, yes this one here and if you see the third record we have overrided the value see in the first two records the object id got created automatically okay but in the in in the third uh, document so we have overrided this value with the user defined value so you can also do that mongodb allows you to do that okay so it's clear right now let's if you want to uh, now if you want to show the databases earlier okay when we use show databases it have not listed our sam database because it don't have any data recorded now i have inserted some data into that now if you want to display uh, our database into uh, like list our database in the uh, uh, all the database that is currently available yes we can do that see now you can see yes the sample database is there because we it has a, at least one collection within uh, at least one json document insert in there. we have some sample data into that right <coughs> and if you want to drop the database yes you can do that using uh, a method called as drop database so db dot drop database so if i just say that then obviously the database will be dropped see the current database that what we are using is sample so so the database is dropped and uh, if you want to drop the collection you can also do that so uh, yes collection what is the collection name is sample right so we have a method called as drop yes we can also do that so but before we drop that we can let's check like how uh, what are the collections that we have so using a command called as a show collections we don't have any collections now because since we have dropped it uh, we can use another uh, uh, database so let's use uh, anu database and we, if, if you want to see the collections inside this database use show collections yes there is a collection called as login if i want to drop this one so i can say that uh, db dot what is my collection name is login if i want to drop it yes using the drop method you can drop the collection so the acknowledgement like if the collection has been dropped successfully will it will the mongodb will acknowledge us with a command uh, uh, statement called as true okay which means the collection is dropped successfully now let's see like uh, what are the collections that is uh, been there in this database anu uh, show collections the the anu collections it's it's not available so now i can drop the database as well db dot drop database this the database anu itself is dropped so now if you want to see whether the anu database and sample database is available or not we just see no we don't have earlier we have sample and anu data both the databases are there now if you see so both the databases has been dropped so this is how actually we can create a database and we can create a collection inside the database we can insert the data into the database and we can uh, drop the database and other collections as well right hope you have enjoyed this video thank you very much